Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is a, the new generation of the HP 360 laptops. These are, they come with an iCore 5 or iCore 6 but with their 11th gen Intel CPU. They are really nicely built, it's like a stylish. But there's a few things that really bothers me about these laptops. They make a model like a quality and the location of the power on button. This one is a, the exact model for this one is an HP X360 14-DY series. And this particular one is a DY0008 model. And one thing like right away when I get this one in the store, like it really ticks me off is the position for the power on button. As you can see, the power on button is right beside the, right on top of the backspace and right beside the delete button and print screen. So it's really easy to, when you just want to backspace and you can easily hit the you know, on off switch here, or you can even, you, know, you want to delete, you just put it right in between them. Like it's really worst place to place. And the second big thing that I don't like it, if you put your palm rest, your palms here and you want to type and you want to click, if you slightly press a little harder in here, you're going to hear that click, the mouse click. Because there's only one click in here. There's a right and left, but there's only they're sharing one tiny tactical button right in the middle. So when you put your uh, finger here and you press, it's pretty much pressing the same single button right in the middle. So when you put your palm rest in and you press it really, not really hard, like a normal pressure, you can hear that clicking. So that means you, have, you can't even rest your palms right on top here. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to increase the RAM to uh, whatever RAM combination that you want. This one comes with an 8 gig RAM, so it has two 4 gigs RAM inside. The, uh, these are DDR4 RAMs, but if you want to upgrade it to 16 gig, you can press 8 and 8, so you have a dual channel uh, 16 gigabyte RAM. And the highest RAM you can go, you can uh, you can push this one up to, I believe, 32 gig max. You can buy 16 and 16 gig, and it will go up to 32 gig uh, with no issue. But that will be a really overkill. Uh, you want one, want just stick up to 16 gig to 8. Those are perfect, suitable for gaming, for whatever uh, work you're going to be doing with this type of processors. All right. First thing first, you want to power up the laptop and flip it upside down. You want to see there's no screws visible. You want to grab yourself a screwdriver set or use the iFixit tool set. It's good for a screwdriver. They have a nice bit. These are S2 class steel. They will last you a long period of time. There's a magnet right in here. There are a few magnets. There's one right there. All right, we're going to grab the Phillips number one. And for the opening tool, you can get the pro version of this tool set. They will provide you with an opening tool, or you can just grab yourself a metallic guitar pick. These metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening electronics. And uh, you can find the links in my description. Now, down here, uh, there are two rubber legs, right? One at the back, one right in the front. On the front rubber leg, there's one screw on each corner, one right over here and one right here. You don't have to peel up the whole thing. So you stick the guitar pick right on between the plastic gum right there and lift it up a little bit. It has a little adhesive to it, so don't worry about it. And go ahead and unscrew this screw on this side. And do the same thing on the other side. Just stick it right between there, all the way down, and then peel it off. And lift it up a little bit and remove the other screw. The screws are all the same size. Now, regarding the back, there's a one screw on each corner and one right in the middle. So that means we have to remove the whole strip. So place the guitar pick right there and lift it up. And don't yank it like this all the way here, otherwise you're gonna break the uh, rubber. So lift it up in 45 degree angle, it's gently, just like that. And bring it to one side and place it right there. And go ahead and remove the three screws right at the back here. And the back screws and the front screws, they're all the same size, so don't worry about mismatching them. 
Also, this does not void your warranty or anything like that. Now, you want to grab the guitar pick and you want to stick it right at the back by the hinges, right between the top and the bottom cover, and you just want to lift it up like that. And do the same thing here. You are lifting it towards the outer side. Don't lift it towards the inside, otherwise you're going to bend the aluminum. Place it like that. And twist it towards the outside. Just like that. Now you see it's opening up. Do the same thing all around. You might want to hear some clicks, that's normal. You don't want to stick the graphic all the way in, about two or three millimeters, not the whole thing. See, it's opening up gently. And this one doesn't scratch or anything like that. Shoot it all around it. Now you're gonna feel there's a there's a tiny hook in the middle here. So you wanna grab it and you wanna just twist a little bit and it should come out. The hooks are right here, this hook right here, it holds it from the corner of the battery. So you can either pull it up or just wiggle it around, it should come out pretty easy. Now we are down here and you can see the fan, beautiful, everything nice. This one don't have a mechanical hard drive. I made a video how to upgrade your SSD drive in case you want to. Now the RAMs are located under this cover shield. This shield is here, so in order if you press on it on the bottom case, so it will actually do a support right there. The battery is right there. You do not need to remove the battery to do this process, but this is a metal sheet, so I don't want you guys to, when you lift it up, touch around and make a short or anything like that. So go ahead and disconnect the battery by pulling this cable uh, backward, the jack, just like that. And the battery will get disconnected. The jack only goes one way in. Don't try to put it backward the other way around. So remember, that's why they have a little dot, tiny dot right on top. Once you did that, now you gotta lift up this cover. To lift it up, it's really hard to lift it up from with the hand. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a tweezers. Another curved tweezers. And let's go ahead and remove this tape here. Uh, lift the tape, roll it around, leave it in the other side. Now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna stick the tweezers between, somehow we gotta manage it to get it underneath this cover. So I'm just gonna stick it right there, pointy right underneath, about one millimeter, and then I'm just gonna lift it up. Those are tiny hooks that grabbing them this whole thing, so I'm gonna do it the same thing on this side. There you go. Once you did a little bit in the front, now it should be really easy. I'm just gonna grab it from both sides and then just bring, be careful you can cut yourself. Bring it up, don't worry. It's a really, really sharp corner, so don't, I already, I have cut it myself just by pulling it up and it's sliding They're like a razor blade sharp, so be careful. All right, once we remove the top corner, remember the adhesive that it came from here is from this tape, so you know which side it goes in. Now, the RAMs are right over here. These are two 4 gig RAM, or you might have a different combination, doesn't matter. To remove the RAMs, all you need to do is to grab these two triggers and pull them apart, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And you want to grab it in a 45 degree angle, and you want to slide it away from the jack in the same 45 degree angle. And once these are again, PC and DDR4 3200. And once you get the new RAM, make sure the RAM dim, the notch on here matches the notch right on the RAM dim. If you get yours and you want to put it the other way around, it will not match and it will not go through. Doesn't matter if you have a RAM tube on both sides or on one side, that doesn't make any difference. As long as the cut on the RAM matches the cut on the RAM dim. Once you want to place it in, bring it in 45 degree angle, the same angle that you removed it. I'm not going it straight down, I'm just bringing it down in 45, right through. Once I see that it is right through there, I'm going to push it towards the motherboard and you should hear these two triggers clicking right there. And it should stay still. It should be really soft and smooth landing. Same thing for the other side. You want to remove it, pull them apart, remove, bring it down, make sure the cut matches. All the way towards the dim and press it down. Once you read that, just grab the sealed cover right in here. Make sure it matches, it has to hold from the corners here. 
So as long as you align one corner nicely between those clippers, and then you start working from this side, go all around, and you should get everything nicely in place. So as long as you manage one corner to hook in those hooks, then you're fine. Once you got that in there, bring this tape over and tape it right there. I don't know, you don't need the tape, but that's just for, they only painted black here, they put this here, so if you look through the hole here, you don't see like a chrome color or anything like that, so that's for the style. I even recommend you to remove it so the airflow can cool down nicely because the tape prevents it from cooling down. All right. Once you finish with that, grab the battery cable and align it right beside it evenly and bring it towards the jack and push it all the way in and just lay down the cable right there somewhere. All right, once you finish with that, you just want to grab the bottom cover or bottom, whatever cover you want to call it. And the magnet for this one is right under this tape right here. This magnet is doing something with the top cover, I guess. Place it nicely even, and it start from the corner, just press it down, just pop it in there. The corner, make sure you hit those clicks. Go to the sides, and now press in the middle, hit that click right there. And once you did that, and the last thing would be to just put the bottom in screws and just cover up with the rubber uh, legs that they have. I hope this video helped you guys out and you have upgraded successfully your uh, RAM for your laptop. And if you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment area and I will try to answer them as soon as I can. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Also, if you want to support the channel, just click that like and subscribe. It's a really big support for me. I really appreciate it. Also, when you replace your RAM and you turn on your laptop, and it, it might take about uh, 5 to 10 seconds and for the screen will flicker once or twice because it will do a RAM check, memory check, so don't panic. Or even if you turn it on, the lights turn on and there's no screen, don't worry, power it off and turn, open it up again and just replace the places for the RAM and then boot it up again. And if that doesn't work, send me a message and I'll try to help you guys as soon as I can.